On yesterday's Marvel Entertainment stream, Kabam didn't answer any of the community's issues. We have an update on the Platinum Pool message, and this is amazing and fantastic work by one of our community members. Yes, hello everybody and welcome to Marvel Contest the Champions News for Friday. Hope your week has now ended at a point where you can now go, ah, oh, the weekend. I can actually get on with stuff that's actually interesting and fun. And we've got some Marvel Contest of Champions related news stories for you. Yes, that's right, a mobile game should be considered as a complete necessity to everything in life. We love this game, don't we? Yes, it's been over seven days since we last put the post together for the special forum post saying kabam. Sort your game out, and since then we have had no response on the matter. And it will be a current story, or it will be a story in Marvel Contest Champions News today. Check out the pinned comments if there is a story that you want to go to. But, let's start off the usual. The usual thanks goes out to my current YouTube members, my patrons, and as well, Twitch subs. If you have an Amazon Prime account and want to give a free Twitch sub, it doesn't have to be to me, but it really helps me out as a creator if you can help support the channel by that means by simply going to the links in the description and as well checking out the uh, on-screen instructions now. I just say like how to set that up and as well go to like link your, your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime. As a lot of you know, I do live stream quite a bit on Twitch. I do come back once a week to live stream on this channel here, but as well do a lot of streaming of various other games called Warzone. I'm probably gonna put another game into the mix as well as MCOC. So it goes MCOC, then another game, and that's what happens in a normal Twitch stream for myself. It's kind of cool as well because I get to play copyright music and have a really good vibe. And uh, yeah, come on by to them. It's a good time. But I haven't forgotten you, loyal viewer, person that really comes back to support the channel each and every video, not just the news, but comes back to watch the videos, hit the like button, and subscribing with post notification on, and getting involved with the comment section about some of the topics that we're going to discuss today in Marvel Contest of Champions news. We kick things off with another week and another kind of pointer about Android issues, and as well, those that are suffering on lots of different Android based devices. A lot of the time it seems to be Samsung A70, but there's also Galaxy phones and now I've seen Motorola's being mentioned and Nokia's. So look, this is something if Kabam are watching, they've got to look into the stability of delivering the game to Android based devices. Having this kind of experience for players isn't exactly the greatest ever and really will kind of like, I suspect, put a real dampener on things when it comes to players wanting to pick up the game and as well stick with the game for years to come if the Android device isn't working to the same standard as maybe iOS devices are. Even though the Samsung A70 takes a small little kind of chunk out of what Android devices as a whole are not running the game as well, it's still something to bear in mind that uh, even a device that's one year old, just hit the one year birthday, is actually running the game poorly. Finally, if you are experiencing issues, please go to the link in the description. It will take you to this thread here. And obviously, Kabam, if you're watching, please look into this because it's the second week and a lot of players seem to be contacting me, telling me about Android-based performance issues, especially not limited to Samsung-based products, including A70 and obviously Galaxy devices. Next up, and what news about the transmission? Yes, the Deadpool transmission. We have heard word that it has been updated. It seems to be every day there seems to be something new added to this particular message. Now, as you know, there is a forum post active on this. Link is in the description down below as to what this post or what this uh, this transmission could really be. Now, I will not be partaking in reading out this in a way that looks like it's I'm doing Papa Roach. I did it the once. Didn't really work out too well, sounded terrible, but there you go, so is life. Now, there's lots of different these kind of micro messages and whether or not this actually leads to something, and this is actually Deadpool or Platinum Pool actually messing with us, will largely probably be seen by the end of the month when uh, the rifts are no more and they've come to an end point. Wednesday's one, which I believe was the puzzle is in your hands, but I can't remember if it was an arm and a leg, that was what has been recently added in. And the one that has been the biggest update is the weird message. Like, there's this one here. It just basically says, please, 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 don't leave me. Well, if you make sure that uh, you get everything sorted for players in game, we won't leave you. We'll we'll stay with you. 
But uh, apart from that, that is what the message is. Meaning the message sort of looks like this, saying, uh, don't leave me, break me into pieces, split myself into five, put the pieces together, the puzzle is in your hands, an arm and a leg, and 1% of my power. All literal gibberish, but I'm sure that it will go into some sort of fashion, or it, you know, to be honest, I could be just kind of putting this together, and this actually turns out to be absolutely nothing. Now, over the top of me speaking is going to be a sculpture. This is a sculpture that's been done by Berserk Revenant. Now, if you know in the past on the channel, we have featured Berserk Revenant for the amazing sculpture skills that he has. And I strongly suggest that you go over to his Instagram, which the link is to in the description. And it's been amazing to come back and see him create these amazing pieces. And the really kind thing about this is that he got in contact with me a little while ago and said, oh, I'd, I'd love to ship something to you to the UK. And I was like, oh, that would be absolutely amazing. And the amazing kindness, obviously, to see this now in the flesh and in person, just really pinpoint how amazing his work is. If people don't understand, they should know this. This is done by freehand clay modeling. And as well, at the scale that it is, is so fantastically done. Every time that Berserk Revenant or Joseph does a new piece, it is done in such a better way than the one that preceded it. Anamorphically, trying to get a human shape and as well scale it down to be the correct size is so difficult to do. And he's done an amazing job with this. As I said previously, he's done other ones, but as they've progressed on, as he's done a new one, it's a case they get better and better and better. Like if you go back and see the Morningstar one here, which is very intricate, I would say that this is really amazing, but this Domino one is God tier. I was also incredibly touched this level of detail as well. It kind of as well created this kind of like crystal thing. So it's like claim the crystal, and then um, and then with uh, with the opening is uh, is there just like a domino. See, that, that, I thought that was quite clever. See these little bits of detail. So he's drawn a domino as well, uh, just there. And there was a lovely, lovely message uh, to myself, obviously thanking myself uh, for a lot of stuff I do the community. Uh, and this, obviously, like I said, it's incredibly touching to kind of get messages like this and as well, this as well. And we'll try and sort out sending something from the UK back to Joseph as well. But yeah, um, I appreciate it, I really do. It's, it's something that I didn't expect was gonna arrive yesterday and then did and i thought i just got to share this with everybody so amazing work go and support berserk revenant check it out links in the description his instagram and uh, maybe even he would be open to commissions in the future and as well because as i said he's making now god tier level sculpting and uh, is well worth obviously uh, checking him out links in the description down below Next up, and have you heard of DNA 3000? You haven't? Well, make sure you get yourself over to the forum and read this. He puts together some amazing in-depth stuff, and it's always incredibly interesting to read, going into great depths as to, in the past, we've talked about alliances, uh, champion rebalancing. He's gone into great levels of detail to produce things. It's the kind of stuff that gives you such a big brain that it adds on to uh, your life expectancy by a load of years. It really is big brain stuff. In A3000's analytical type of knowledge just outweighs a lot of, uh, it's the kind of stuff that you kind of think, right, well, this should be like Warren Buffett level stuff. And obviously this is all about Marvel Contest of Champions. I hope DNA 3000 has a life, I really do. Uh, but we love him 3000 because he produces things about looking at the scaling curve of difficulty and the way that Kabam's logic based on where they were at Act 5 and as well the scaling up uh, of difficulty and placement as to where their future go in future going with content is obviously presented in this particular uh, curve graph, uh, whatever you want to call this. Now there might be a chance that we actually have DNA 3000 on the podcast on Sunday, but I just need to figure out whether or not we can actually do that. There's some things I just need to work out personally, but it would be really good to find out uh, more about this and go in depth about where the where the kind of the line in the sand is drawn as to where the difficulty is and as well where the curve is and as well where Kabam should have put the difficulty levels for Act 6 compared with stuff like Act 5 and whether or not it breaches thresholds of uh, what players rosters and free to play players uh, mantras and abilities are with uh, getting new champions and getting those OP ones. Anyway, next story. Next up, and let's talk about the stream last night. So a Marvel Contest of Champions live stream, which was a Marvel Let's Play. This one obviously used to promote the stay at home and play together thing, let's play at home movement. There's a lot of really kind of like 
interesting stuff that came out of this uh, from a point of what the live chat had to say rather than what was actually taking place in game. For a lot of people that didn't understand, this stream was meant to be a showcase of Red Guardian and uh, as well uh, Black Widow uh, Deadly Origin. But uh, it did really spiral into a lot of players wanting to find out more about what Kaban were meant to be saying about the current issues in game, like the state of the game. I'm really unsure as to what this was meant to achieve from a point of showcasing the champions. Obviously, Josh Soleil hasn't extensively played Marvel Contest to Champions, but Kabam John has. It was obviously Kabam John taking in uh, Josh Soleil to, uh, to take on uh, incursions, and as well doing a little bit of heroic, I think it was, grinding. This was a very odd stream to watch. Yes, we had Kabam John here, obviously he was a, a font of knowledge, the nerf master of Marvel Contest of Champions, but as well, like, obviously he's able to take on content very smoothly, very well. Josh Soleil is uh, relatively new to the game, he's aware of the game, he does a lot of commentating on various Marvel products and as well games, uh, but he's a presenter that doesn't really take up these games extensively. So therefore, when it comes to uh, what you were seeing on this, I don't know if you were getting the uh, the best experience possible, but at the same time, this was meant to be a showcase. I don't know what that stream was meant to achieve from a point of promoting the game, because I don't think it did well enough to promote the game. Uh, and as well, uh, yeah, okay, it was nice to see two people interacting, but maybe pairing people off, uh, that would have been good. And as I said, maybe like having some kind of celebrity, like maybe a uh, an actor or actress say like, okay, well you're home at the moment, can we pay you an appearance fee for one hour just to play a game for the first time? Then people go, oh look, it's, um, David Harbour playing Marvel Contest of Champions for an hour. Um, that's cool, isn't it? That's that that's that's amazing. I can't believe it. I'm sure people will then go like like okay, he's just playing incursions or playing with his character and stuff. And people go, that's that's fine because uh, I think people would be a little bit more, I'd say, sympathetic. But uh, it's a case like you know, I don't think people are as sympathetic. I think as well looking at obviously Josh's presented for the game but he hasn't played the game it's a it was just a very weird stream i don't know thoughts in the comment section about this and that's been your marvel contest of champions news for friday i don't know what i'm posting as my second video today but whatever it is i'm sure that it will be interesting vibrant and fun and as well look out tomorrow i'll be doing a double rift or maybe i'll be doing a rift today and maybe another rift tomorrow i don't know we'll have to see thanks for tuning in check out some fresh content up here check out some other content down there and i'll see you in the next one bye bye for now